Hello, this is Jonathan Gruber from the public radio show The State We're In, and we've left the studio today to travel to a workshop on an industrial estate in Eindhoven in the south of the Netherlands. And the guy we've come to see is the designer Masoud Hassani, and he's been living in the Netherlands since 1998, but he's originally from Afghanistan. Masood grew up in Kabul playing among landmines in a war zone and in fact he saw some of his friends die as a result of landmines right on their playground. And this stuck with him all his life and so now he has invented something called a minecafon which is a, a wind-blown ball that rolls around on minefields, it blows them up, it falls apart easily but it can also be put together easily. And Masood says in this way he is taking his revenge upon the minefields of his childhood. My name is uh, Masoud Hassani. I was born in, in Afghanistan originally. I'm living for a few years in Holland, and I have been studying here and living here. And uh, what I've been doing is uh, building a microphone and exploding it. <laughs> a microphone. And what does microphone mean? A microphone means uh, mine is an uh, is, uh, English word, just for landmines, and microphone is a verb in, uh, in our language, in Dari, it means uh, mm, uh, getting things exploded. To, to explode. Yeah, to explode, exactly. Yeah. So this is, you're basically, this thing that you're making here is a mine exploder. Yeah, so if it runs over a landmine, there will be enough pressure on the antipersonal mine uh, as a human uh, weight, and then it's going to blow up. So this thing runs over anti-personnel mines and explodes them? Yeah. 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 W- would you just describe it for me and, and tell me what it's made of? It's uh, made from a uh, few parts. So you have uh, the big uh, center core there. It's a big black center core with some gray sockets in it? Yeah. You can uh, screw all these bamboo poles in it. So every leg is made for, from bamboo and then uh, uh, a round foot with a suspension in it. So that that works as a human uh, foot. It imitates the motion of a human foot. Yeah, yeah. In a really simple way, but uh, it's how it uh, works. This prototype is still not uh, the the one that I uh, would like to have. But now we, I'm, I'm trying to. So, so this is just a prototype. This is uh, this is our s- second or third uh, working prototype. Now I have to make everything with my own hands and stuff, and then. It will be all uh, fabricated in a factory in a, in a really cheap way so because it's now not really cheap. And uh, we are uh, working on a movie about, about this project to make it... Uh, it's a really short movie to show how things work because it, sometimes uh, people just imagine it. But now I j- we just want to show how the real thing works and then, uh, if, it, if it gets exploded, how far is it going to explode because... Sometimes people think it's going to uh, break totally apart and, and if you're standing next to it, you will get hurt. But it's not like that. So it's kind of absorbing the, the impact. And then You, you want to show how durable it, it is. Yeah, yeah. So the durability and then uh, how effective it can be. Uh, let's put it together because yeah. I, I have got a few questions to ask you about it when, it, when it's kind of put together. So. So, you know, um, we've got this thing almost completely made now, right? Yeah. It's like I'd say we've got it three quarters made, Masood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so we know what its purpose is. Yeah. It's meant to explode landmines. But can I ask you, um, it's kind of beautiful. Do you see it maybe also as a work of art? When I was uh, building the thing, I was just uh, thinking about working and, and so on. So you were just thinking practically, not, exactly. not in terms of aesthetics? No, 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 not, not really. So I, I thought to uh, make it a round the ball with poles and, and stuff. So finally, at, uh, when I made it, it looked like this. So I was surprised. <laughs> so when, when you look so. at it, at this thing, all completed, ready to roll, ready to do its job, yeah. um, but also looking at it the way it looks, yeah. what, what goes through your head? If I uh, see it from the other people's eyes, you know, not my own, then the expression that they have is like, if it's totally made, then it's like, if you see it from far, then you don't know what it is, you know. So you're kind of going to, towards it and you're asking yourself, 
uh, is this the art pitch? Art pitch. That's probably the first question. Then, then you will hear no, it's rolling. Then the second thing, oh, it's the whole thing can move. You know, then you will say, yeah, it's it's meant for deserts where there are a lot of explosions and so on. So there are a lot of uh, surprising layers. That but I, let me just let me just stop you for one second. I want you to stop thinking about what other people think. Yeah. Okay. What do you feel? Uh, what I feel. Because you created this thing yeah, for yeah. a purpose, a purpose yeah. that has a lot to do yeah. with your childhood. Yeah, yeah, sure. And now you've made this thing yeah. that is going to address something yeah. that you had to deal with when yeah, you were a kid. Yeah. Okay? So I'm asking you emotionally, <laughs> when you look at this thing, what are you thinking? Uh, I co- to, to answer your question, it's... Uh, yeah, finally, it should uh, it should uh, like uh, do the job that it uh, has to, you know. And uh, yeah, it has a lot of uh, value for me. What's the value for you? To to make uh, their life better. To to help like uh, to help uh, like villages, villagers, and then and then they can like uh, walk around without any fear in their head.